Hey everybody, I'm Greg with the Fix My Bleep channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So I've got a wireless solar street light today. It comes in a set of two. There's a link in the description where you can find it. Be sure and like and subscribe to the channel. This is going to be an unboxing and a product review. Let's get to it. Let's check it out. I'm also going to show you how to install it. All right, so your best use for a light like this, where this is solar, you can literally put it anywhere. So we're talking outside barns, outside shops, outside parking areas, outside parking garages, outside pools, outside basketball courts, outside sports courts, anywhere where you need to light up a great big huge area, this is where you're gonna want this light. So anywhere even out on a remote farm somewhere. Okay, this is the unboxing. It does come in a box of two. So this is everything in the box. So here's your mounting bracket right there. There's the pole, there's the bracket, there's the bolt, there's the anchors. They each come with their own remote and a set of batteries. There's the plugs right there. And there's the instruction manual or the user manual right there. All right, let's get some dimensions on these lights. Looking at 29 and a half inches in length. At the widest point, 11 and 3 quarter inches width, 2 and a half inch depth. Alright, each of these 300 watt solar street lights weigh in at approximately 10 pounds. The price on these units is $164.85 and they do come in a two pack. There's a link in the description where you can find it. Check it out right there. Okay, so here's everything that comes with each light set. And so after you get the lights, put your batteries in your remote. And the instructions are very clear and straightforward. You will want to activate these lights. Just so you press the on button, and then you want to hit the always key. Then it says take it to a dark place and ensure that the light will come on before installing it. Okay, tools needed for this project. You're going to want a ladder. You're gonna want a uh, socket set. You'll need a tape measure, a pencil. You'll want some sealant, some drill bits, and a uh, power screwdriver for a good drill. So I'm gonna end up mounting this uh, 300 watt street lamp right here on top of the shed. We've got this great big open area here between our cabin and the shed right here. Uh, it leads out to the uh, bathroom, AKA outhouse sign above the bathroom and uh, yeah that's gonna be the best place for it right there on the very top and I'm gonna use the uh, tube arm that comes out so we get sunlight we get afternoon and evening Sun all day long right there okay get your tube get your pencil get your tape measure make sure your tube is angled upward mark your drill points let's get to drilling okay I threw a 5 16 drill bit on there if your bolts are going to go through, yep, yeah, that's actually a perfect fit. So 5 sixteenths. All right, just going to snug these bolts down. We'll get this light on here. Open up the bracket. Slide it on. All the way. Try to get a level. That's one thing I forgot to mention. You will need a little level to put it up on top of here. Make sure it's level right and left. All right, so this 300 watt solar street light is all installed. We're gonna let it charge up, wait for tonight, and see how it does. It's not getting full sun, but I did have it sitting out in some full sun this afternoon. All right, so as you can see, this light just kicked on here. Uh, the sunset may be 25 or 30 minutes ago, and uh, it's putting out quite a bit of light here. We've got some four wheelers parked uh, nearby, and uh, they're illuminated quite well. And this light does also have a save feature, so when there's motion, uh, the light will come on extra bright, and when there's no motion, it does have a little bit of a light uh, battery save feature mode where it will go a little bit dimmer. So right now, it's putting out quite a bit of light. I do have the dimmer mode feature on right now, and there it goes. And uh, that's working quite well where it saves the battery power. 
when uh, you have some motion activation it will brighten up once again. There we go with the motion and you saw how it just brightened up right there. All right, so a couple of modes I hadn't mentioned so far in the review is this remote has a setting there where you can set it to light sensing mode for two hours, then it will activate motion sensing mode, or it's also got a light sensing mode for three hours, then it rolls over to activate motion sensing mode. So that's kind of cool. All right, so I've got the remote. So this is under full brightness. You can do 50% brightness. You can do 40%, 30%, 20% brightness. You can dim this thing way down. And then you can back up. It looks like about 10% intervals right there. All the way back up to 100% brightness. So pretty cool. That's 100% right there. All right, there's a little bit wider shot of the 300 watt street light right now lighting up the whole area there in front of the shed and uh, just to give you an idea. And here's one more shot of the 300 watt street light lighting up the whole area in front of the shed. And there's a little bit of a close up there of our 300 watt street light lighting up the place. All right, time to cover some of the strong points of this 300 watt solar light set right now. All right, strong point number one, no wiring needed. This is a solar LED light set, ready to go. All right, strong point number two, under full sun, this will charge to 100% in six to eight hours. Strong point number three, this light is bright and long lasting. Strong point number four, this light has three different modes. You have dust to dawn mode, you have auto motion mode, and you have timer mode set on it. Strong point number five, this is easy install. So you have two methods, you can install wall mount or pole mount. All right, strong point number six, each of these lights come with their own remote control as well. All right, let's go over any drawbacks of the 300 watt solar street lights right now. All right, so drawback number one, where these have some weight to them, and this isn't really the manufacturer's fault. This isn't uh, any fault of uh, these guys. This is more or less the shipper's uh, fault, but when they sent this, they put this box inside of a great big box with no packing whatsoever. And so when that happened, it was bouncing around inside of the larger box and it kind of shredded this box up. You can see it kind of tore this box up a little bit beat up the corner there ripped it open a little bit now these panels are just fine they took the beating even though this box got halfway destroyed and that's not the manufacturer's fault all right so one drawback i did find out is you do have to be really close with the remote to get this thing to work so standing where the camera is no dice but right here the remote actually works pretty well I'm not throwing this out here as a drawback or anything, I'm just pointing this out, but if you get a lot of hail and stuff, I'm kind of wondering out loud if hail is going to be a problem with these at some point in the future. This is surrounded by a plastic here, then you've got your solar panel right here. Don't know how strong these are. I'll provide an update if we ever have a problem with this, I'll let you know. All right, so in conclusion, if you've got a shop or a barn or a farm or a warehouse somewhere or a garage or a parking area, something that you need lit up or you've been having a problem with, this 300 watt street light is definitely going to be the product for you. I would recommend it. I would give it two thumbs up. There's a link in the description where you can find it. Be sure and check that out. And uh, this is just an awesome item. All right, so hopefully this review video has been really helpful for everybody out there. Be sure and check out the link in the description where you can pick these lights up. Also, like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys later.